Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening edition of the RK Newscast, where we have your national news, international news, business news, and political news. Let's begin. First up, we begin this broadcast with George Floyd protest updates. Civil rights charge filed against Minneapolis police. The governor called this investigation only one of many steps to come. Today's biggest developments. Minnesota Department of Human Rights to investigate police department. Surveillance video released from police killing in Louisville. Nearly 700 arrested overnight in NYC. Curfew extended through the week. Couple works to clean up destruction in Atlanta. G. J. Hawkins, youth pastor of Voices of Faith Ministries, discussed what the protests in Atlanta are like in his reflection to the violence. If you want to see that video, we will share that video with you on the Riley King Network Facebook page after this broadcast. Officials say armed men killed journalists in southern Yemen. Security officials say a Yemen journalist has been shot dead in the southern port city of Aden. Ex-Facebook security chief says it's impossible to deplatform the president. Former Facebook security chief said Tuesday that Twitter's policy to flag some of the President Donald Trump's posts was a smart decision, but that it's impossible to keep his posts off any Facebook, any social media site. And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Tuesday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Tuesday evening. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in a green went up. Your Nasdaq closed in a green went up. S&P 500 closed in a green went up. Gold closed in the red went down. Oil closed in the green went up. U.S. 10-year closed flat. Your slash USD closed in a green went up. And VIX closed in the red went down. Stocks jump as Wall Street focuses on the economy reopening. S&P 500 now up 40% from March low. Stocks rose on Tuesday as traders focused on the reopening of the economy from the coronavirus pandemic, even aimed civil unrest around the U.S. AG Barr ordered protesters cleared from park near White House officials. Barr surveyed the park prior to the aggressive push by law enforcement so President Donald Trump could take a photo op in front of a church. And that does it for this evening edition of the RK Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Have a great evening, everyone. See you back here tomorrow for another broadcast. Good night and bye.